Hello friends, my name is Sali and you are watching Intellectual Indies. Today we will talk about the art of prospecting. Many times we receive a lot of calls or we have many people coming to us. We waste a lot of time and we also give them our full time. We think they will buy the product and when they don't buy the product, we need to understand whether that person is our prospect or not. First, understand one logic. We should not sell uh, our product to someone who does not need it. If you understand this, everything else will start making sense to you. If this person doesn't need my product, then why should I waste time with them? So, basically, within this straight line persuasion, prospects are divided into four levels. Level one is the person who converts within one second or very quickly, someone who knows everything about us. They come, take it, and leave. You have run out of paste at home, and you use Ramdev's Dant Kanti. There is a Patanjali store in front of your house. You will go straight, pick it up, go straight, get the bill, and take it straight away. This is level one. What happened within level two? You have run out of paste at home, but you don't know which one to get. So you go. Now you ask from there, do you want to take this? Do you want to take that? And you research the product like Atlas. What happens in level three? You have run out of paste at home or it is about to run out and you go out to research. It hasn't happened yet, but you are going to find out how the paste is, what the benefits are and what the drawbacks are. Basically, you don't want to take the product and it might be that you will consider it in the future. What happened at level four was that people were just passing by. On the way, I saw a nice banner showing that Ramdev has launched a new page. Which paste is it? What is its nature? Tell me the price and how much discount it has. You seem to be passing time because you have free time. So, these people fall into level 4. We need to identify right from the start whether they are in level 1, level 2, level 3 or level 4. Now, how will we know? By looking at a person's body language. Many videos have been made about body language. I will put the button above. You can check the playlist on how we can judge the other person based on body language. Now, you will be able to tell from body language that they are not interested. At level 1, will they convert upon meeting? At level 2, they will ask, how much is this? They will ask a few questions and will convert directly. If someone is wasting too much time, you don't need to engage with them. Every industry has a time limit to engage. If someone is talking, we should not engage. This means that if someone falls into level 3 or level 4, ideally, we need to optimize our time effectively. A salesperson has a daily target of talking to 10 people. I need to sell goods worth 100,000 rupees today. I need to work on my dash today, work on my dash. So, if you want to meet your target and you are talking to level 3 or level 4 people, basically you are wasting your time and not achieving your target. With level 2 people, you need to understand one more thing. They still have a barrier in place. Level 1 has no barriers, they are directly taking the product. Level 2 has one barrier, which could be a knowledge barrier, a financial barrier, or a lack of trust. You just need to remove the barrier, and the level 2 customer will start moving towards level 1 on their own. Now let's talk about a basic calculation. My institute, Result Marketing, currently receives a demand for much more than 12 seats, with about 10 to 12 inquiries coming in daily. So, I am increasing it to 50 seats. All right, now I am doing 50 seats. Now let's assume how many people will be at level one. I will talk about one safe side. There will be 10 people who wanted admission in the last batch. As soon as I make the announcement, they will come just like that. So 10 seats will fill up just like that. What will the 20 seats be? They will be for level two, who will call and ask about the course curriculum, who will teach and who will not. They have already watched my video. Still. They will ask how much the fee is and will want to go into complete detail. They want to know everything. If you provide placement or not, then 20 people are considered to be at level 2. And those 20 people are at level 3. They are at level 4. So I cannot sell them the product. So what can I do? Should I keep 20 seats empty? So I will target the untapped market for 20 seats that I have not targeted until now. Now I am also incorporating my digital marketing series into this. So what we can do is use marketing or digital marketing to fill those 20 seats. I can definitely put up pamphlets. I can run a campaign on Facebook and Google. I can 
promote by putting up some pamphlets around my locality. I have a strategy on WhatsApp where I can create banners and circulate them on WhatsApp so that my children, meaning my students, can also share them further, or I can launch a student referral program. If an existing student or an old student brings in one child, we will give them a 10% discount. This could also enhance internal marketing. Another thing I can do is organize free seminars and promote them everywhere, like free seminars on digital marketing. What will happen is that many people will come, including those from our YouTube channel, but there will also be many who know me and live nearby who want to learn about digital marketing, especially since it's free, so I can hold a seminar for 50 people and conduct 10 seminars, for example. This way, I can reach 500 people. Among those 500, many will understand my points and realize that digital marketing is legitimate and that I explain it well. They might think, I can learn this. So, many people will start converting from level 1 and level 2. I can easily fill my seats again as conversion rates vary by location. Let's assume a 2% conversion rate. That means 2% of people convert. So, how many people do I need to reach out to in order to fill 20 seats? If I need to fill 20 seats, my target is to reach out to 1,000 people. Now, how will I do that? I will use banners, utilize social media, and organize seminars. I could be running 10 seminars every day to fill those seats. I can do anything for this. This will be my marketing strategy. Now I will tell you three sales rules that, if you apply them, will significantly speed up your conversion process. The first thing is that you must be enthusiastic. The person should be full of energy. If that energy is lost, then such a person will never be able to convert sales. This person will never achieve much in sales. A person who has energy and speaks well can succeed in sales. The other thing should be straightforward. The person was talking directly about a specific topic without going off track. It was about straight line persuasion, so it is a straight line. If the person is going, pull them back. If they are going there, pull them back and stop them. Let them wander. If someone is running, up, running, up, running, up, then they are not at level 2. If they are in level 3 or level 4, they need to be eliminated. The third point is to demonstrate authority. You need to make it clear to yourself. Brother, I am knowledgeable in this category, in this domain. Now, as I am inviting people to seminars, the untapped organizations are realizing it. Brother, they have the knowledge. The energy of digital marketing is evident. All right? What about someone is talking about random things or my sales conversion process won't speed up? The 2% conversion rate we are currently achieving could potentially rise to 10%. Let me tell you one more thing. A person can analyze you in just 24 seconds based on what they see. They can determine what type of person you are. It means that we can immediately see whether the person is energetic or not, knowledgeable or not, whether they will speak well or not, how they will speak, and whether we believe this or not. I am standing with my hair styled in a funky way, saying it like this, hello, what will you say? Brother, this is a funky guy. One person is talking while wearing a suit, so this guy is a professional. Another person is speaking normally, so he is just an ordinary guy. One person is portraying the voice of a common man. Since my brother is an ordinary person, there are different strategies involved. And this is what you need to portray to others. You have to wear clothes that way, do everything that way, if we are talking on the phone. Here, we can see the person. Or not. Let's play a game. I'm turning the screen off. I'm making the camera completely dark. I will speak in three ways, and you tell me which type of person it is. Hello, sir. We are speaking to you. This is Rahul. Rugen Chemical Train is our chemical work. Take our chemical. Yes. Very good. Now, what does the second person do? Hi, sir. This is a call from Yugen Chemicals. We have a requirement that you need to listen to. Sir, can you please give me your email ID? I will send you one quotation and provide my best price. Please take a look at us. I am sending you a C. Repeat along with our company profile, so you can understand what our company does. Hello. Sir, this is Sahil speaking from Yugen Chemical. Sir, we work with chemicals and we deal with soil steam. Could we have a chance to present our work to you? Take our chemical. 
It's an extremely effective, highly efficient, and highly reliable chemical indeed, sir. Now tell me, from these three individuals, which one will you choose for the product? You haven't seen any of the three yet, and you don't know what they look like. But are you able to analyze them based on their voice and the way they speak? You can even analyze a person just from their name. If someone calls a person Chinna Swami Ayar Saimi Ayar, you can analyze them right from there. You can tell what kind of person they are, how they are dressed, and what manner of speaking they have. If someone says, my name is Sahil Khan, you might start making some assumptions. If my name is Sahil Khana, you might start making some assumptions. There are problems within our country, problems everywhere in our country. We tend to link personality with names, and this can be exploited over the phone. Now, let's say I say, yes, sir, this is Richard, calling from Day's company and Dash. What do you think, brother? Richard, the name sounds foreign. The English tone he has is quite Indian. What is this all about? And if someone says to you, Hi sir, this is Richard calling from Day's company, you might think that it's a foreign person. So you need to analyze your target audience, meaning you have to determine who will buy my product, and we need to portray our identity accordingly. In the coming time, we will learn about sales pitches, and how they are made, how we communicate, and everything can be analyzed within just four seconds of a phone call. In just four seconds, your voice is heard and an analysis is made about the person. How a person looks, whether they are smart or not, whether they are dark or fair, and how they are dressed, all of this is fine. And within four seconds, I can win their heart. After the video, I have the advantage of showing my face, demonstrating my body language, and speaking in my own way. So, all these add-ons make the version process faster. Within the phone, you cannot bring these things in. It all comes down to your way of speaking, your intonation, how I am emphasizing some words loudly while downplaying others, what I am doing and what I am not doing, all of this falls under the same category. So that was today's video. Thank you. So, the calculation we did first regarding the target, you need to fulfill that according to your business. How much target do I need to achieve daily? For example, if I need a target of 1000 rupees, then I need to define how many calls I have to make for that 1000 rupees considering what conversion rate I am assuming. Many people have told me about the level and I had asked them to rate themselves. If many people gave 11, 11 out of 10, then if you are giving 11, 11, you should also consider the conversion rate accordingly, meaning I will call this many people and try to initiate calls starting this week. Start talking. I will either talk on the phone or go to meet you so that when we move forward next week, you know what mistakes I made. What are the shortcomings in my scenes pitch? What am I saying wrong? And what am I not saying that would make you laugh at everything? I made a mistake. I didn't do this. Now, what is the next thing? The next thing is that you need to bottle it up. What shortcomings will there be in my entire process? There is a person above level one and there is a person above level two. So how can I bring the person from level two down to level one? What difficulties is he facing? And how can I rectify those issues? For any product I need to work on, I must gather all the knowledge about it so that I can present myself as a leader and make it clear that I am the leader in this category. That's all for this week's little homework. Start the work, like it, share it, share this video, and start selling. Also, start selling this video. I feel that if you want to work in sales, you can also sell my videos. You can tell people that there is a channel and they will enjoy subscribing, and I hope you are enjoying it too. In this series, let's set a target of 1000 likes. Last time you completed it, this time we are keeping it at 1000 as well. Next time I will slightly increase the target and just buy. Good night Shabikhair. God Hafiz. Good morning. And you are watching the video.